So hi everyone, Craig Hansen here guys. Yes, welcome to my video, how to hit pure pit shots with heaps of spin, uh, controlling your ball flight and controlling your spin. And uh, yeah, there's something in this video really for everybody. And you're gonna see some things that you've never seen before. We're looking at dynamic loft, we're looking at spin loft, we're looking at shaft lean, we're looking at angle of attack. And we'll be looking at the best players in the world in slow motion here so that uh, yeah, we can back it up and uh, the proof is in the pudding. A lot of misled information out there about pitching and uh, some people having some real troubles with it. So, yeah, guys, before I get into the video, subscribing. Hit the subscribe button, please, and uh, hit that bell because a lot of people that subscribe, I'm getting so many emails each week. Don't know what it is, but uh, they're, they're just not receiving the videos and they have to go on my channel. So when you hit all... Uh, then you'll, you'll get notification of the videos in there. So uh, a video like this, for example, is pretty important for a lot of people out there. Now, when we're looking at uh, the motion, okay, I'll take you through, before we get further into the video, you, you will need to go through a couple of things in this video to understand it perfectly. Um, the shaft lean, when we're looking at uh, directly straight up at 90 degrees, okay, now when we're looking at creating spin, uh, we're looking at uh, creating this grabbing effect from these two surfaces, the club face and the ball. Now, we're not looking at, a lot of people seem to think that the higher that you hit it, the more spin. And we're not looking at clubs, the ball slipping off the face or floating off the face. We're looking at creating this grabbing effect of these two surfaces where we're looking at getting your, your dynamic loft, which is the loft that you have at impact, and your angle of attack, which is going to be around five to seven degrees. If you get your chance, get a chance to get on track, man, or get on flight scope or some of the devices out there. And uh, with information like this, you can get in there and really understand how to get those revs, that spin on the ball and get that spin. Sometimes you get, you know, if you've got high premium golf balls and, and you, you've got to be using pretty new equipment, you can get your spin right up around 7,000, 8,000, 9,000 revs per minute. And this is what really is uh, making it bounce and check and grab, uh, not just hitting it high. So you want to have a shaft lean. It doesn't mean we're hitting big divots. Uh, not at all. Uh, there's, there's, there's components and the shallowing characteristics that can allow us to have shaft lean and hit pure quality pitch shots. Actually, if you get your action good, there's so much room for error here that you can actually get and land quite a few centimeters or inches behind the ball and you're still going to hit great pitch shots. Now, when we're looking at shaft lean, we're going to see the motion of great pitches, generally seeing them moving their head forwards and moving their head downwards. It's a different action to the full swing. That's what you have to understand. A lot of people are just getting in there and standing pretty much the same, but the shoulders move completely different. You've seen some of my other videos there on shoulder plane. This is really the opposite. So we're going to be moving forwards and downwards, and when we see that the head will often move back up and the shoulder will start to turn, and we can get this. This is like when looking at the impact here, you know, looking around 16 degrees, maybe even more of shaft lean here, and really no divot. Now, when you're looking at this flight here, uh, this is an interesting one because we're seeing, we see Chuck Cook talk about this uh, last year, one of the best trainers in the world. We're just seeing so many uh, people that are understanding the action and, and proving it to be true. We're, we're talking about the, the 30 degree launch angle here. And you'll see Brett Rumford here, who's just yeah, an amazing pitcher. And I uh, had the opportunity a couple of years ago to spend a couple of hours with him and talk to him and film all his shots. And what an experience that was. You'll see that the shaft lean, you see that thing take off around 30 degrees, which is a lot lower than you think, all right? So it's actually shaved off the top, the high spinning shot. And you'll see that the, the body starts to work back up and, and rotates, and you'll see a very straight body here. Now, there's pitch shots, obviously, where you have people with less wrist. You have people here with Brett having a bit of wrist set. It, it doesn't matter. It depends on what style that you use, which I'll show you just a little bit later on in the video. But looking at that motion, of uh, shaft lean and, and looking at the, the head often uh, moving moving forwards. And we see Luke Donald here. You'll see this this head who is, is a, you can leave your comments under below, but I do believe this is statistically the best pitcher in the last about 20 years or something. Um, and you can see his head moving forwards and, you know, the elbows will stay connected, great feel. Uh, and then the rotating rotation of the chest and the head, and the head will move with the shot. So it doesn't stay down for as long. You know, it doesn't go too early, but it doesn't stay down forever. And you, just by keeping your elbows connected and getting your body to move effectively, uh, very, very important to notice. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. 
practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. Join us in the chat room and join the community of world-class golf instruction. When you're looking at really good actions, people that just pitch it pure, it really is a great thing to see. We have a look at this down in the impact. This is Lee Deegan from Australia. I love watching this guy pitch. I really, really do. It's just, uh, it's just so, so good. Have a look at that compression line. Look at the flight of this thing taking off. There's your 30 degree angle, and that's even lower than that. It's just hit so pure. And it's just, you could just see, you could just see the quality in that that action. Now, when you're drawing a lineup, you've obviously a lot of you guys don't have the angles in there. But if you do like a 90 degree and you estimate, you know, you get in there and you go, all right, that's. And I'll, I'll, I'll get in there and I'll do about, you can all get pretty close to estimating once you've got two lines in there. And then you can just drop it down and you'll sort of drop that line down again and halve it and then you'll be able to estimate where that is. You know, a lot of, obviously I'm doing a lot of that with online lessons, but for, for people on uh, World Class Golf, we've got an advanced pitching series with about 20 videos in there on how to build the action. All right, so I can't explain how to do it all in, in this. And uh, enjoy the community, there's a chat room on there and uh, we're adding videos to that. I think there's around 16, 18 videos, but how to build it and all the information on uh, shoulder planes and different things like that. All right. So when you're looking at this entry, it's one of the essential things uh, into the golf ball. Um, you know, when we're looking at the motion here, the shoulder plane, it's different. You know, you're going to see it uh, pointing about a yard outside the ball here. But what you're going to see is that through the golf ball, it, it's much more level than that. It's actually opposite uh, to, you know, the full swing. And if you saw my video last week or a couple of weeks ago on on shoulder plane, where we're looking around, you know, two average here is around 39 to 45 degrees. And you'll see that just about every player will, will steepen it from there and, and get themselves into sort of the high 50, mid 50 area. But the shoulder plane with pitching will often be uh, much more level than that. Now the club face control is different. It moves different, it points up uh, through the golf ball. We're not seeing the club uh, roll over as much. And uh, we've got uh, plenty of statistics on body uh, rotation and movement but when you're also looking at you know the styles of less wrist where we see jason day who you know it still has wrist hinge i mean you, you'll see people say that it takes that he, he says that he takes the wrist completely out of it but most players good players they still you know what they feel they don't often do and they explain it and then we get out there but so you still see so he started with the club you know and and the shaft uh, in one line but he's added some wrist hinge there but uh, great feeling is these upper arms staying connected. You can see that his head moves forwards. And then as it turns, you'll see it come back a little bit and, and we can see. But this isn't that actually. He's still got plenty of shaft lean. Can't quite see it in here, but I've, we've got another video there. with. He's got so much shaft lean at impact, this guy. And you, you'll still see that this is, it's not flipped. So you're still seeing it's held a huge angle into this. So for a lot of people out there taking the wrists out, it's fine if you can repeat it it's easy to repeat for a lot of people um, but if if a lot of the people are taking the wrist out and then flipping it and you're in the same position so you, you know when you're when you're looking at at, at bryson dechambeau or people like that uh who guys improved his pitching a lot they, even though they're using less wrist this they're not flipping it through through the through the golf ball all right so that's also important to know now yeah by filming your swing you can get in there and have a look at these things these are some of the things that we're showing you in World Class Golf Instruction. Now, guys, when you're looking at the uh, angles here, we'll have a look at two different types. This is my pitching angle here with a little bit more. And then we'll see a bit of the, the head moving forwards. Okay, well, and we'll have a look at the Here's one star with a little bit more wrist angle. And we'll just see that the head moves slightly forwards. And as we rotate, the head will start. You just see that starting to lift back up. And if you get your finish position right, we'll have a look at the impact here. We've got around 14 degrees of sharp lean. Let's draw a line out there at 30. So we're just on top of that one. And this action here, popping a line up also on the side of the head here. We'll see the head. This one's got a little bit less wrist in it. So we've got a wider type of, of takeaway here. Um, but really, you can still get it. It's still getting that sharp lean. There's 15 degrees. And this thing's going to come out, uh, I think, under or around slightly under 30 so whatever you can repeat but the, the motion of wrist or no wrist it still stays the same you still need to get uh, your entry into the golf ball correct we still need the the hallmarks the components of great pitching you need to work on your action and build it 
Uh, here we've got Brett Rumford coming in with the club coming in behind the hands uh, and through the golf ball, the shoulders being more level. And we can see that club face pointing up. And uh, so very, very important to understand the motion. And once you start to work on it uh, and practice it, you're going to see these, these club face positions more often coming in behind the hands. It can come in quite shallow, this action. You'll be very surprised in that club face staying up, the shoulders here more level. And once you have a good action, uh, it really is remarkable going out on the golf course. You can turn a, you know, a weakness really into a strength. Uh, you'll see here Shane Lowry, British Open champion, more of a wristed action head forward, starts to move the head back up. And you will see a lot of the players doing this. And when you work on your finish position, once you get the correct finish position, some of this extension, and we'll see him into this position here, obviously massive amount of the shaft lane just before impact and bringing this ball out also uh, just under that 30 degree angle. Great player, great iron player, that guy. So guys, getting your, filming your swings and understanding your motion, uh, understanding that it's not all about, I mean, there's all different types of shots that we're showing you on, uh, you know, on world-class golf instruction when we're coming back and we're, you know, hitting lob shots and hitting them up in the air with, you know, there's all different tricks and things that we do, but we do need the standard basic uh, pitch shot here. And uh, once we just keep looking at these top players, we'll see the head moving forwards and getting into impact and we're seeing... Uh, small divots with a you know an angle of attack between five to seven degrees. You're looking at getting a spin lock between 55 to 60 if you're using your track mans and uh, having a look at the, the amount of shaft lane. It's so important to understand getting the correct spin and getting this flight or this angle out uh, 30 degrees around that area if you can and rotating the chest and the head and the connection of the arms against the chest. But uh, to understand how to go about building the action, extremely important. And uh, so I'm looking forward to sharing you. We have two pitching series on World Class Golf and Shop. We have the standard one and we have the advanced pitching series. So guys, yeah, thanks for watching. There's a, a breakdown of, of some of the finer points and uh, looking at how we create spin and how to control the ball flight. And the closer you get to these positions, the better you're going to hit.